our vacation to Seattle and geocaching headquarters, we have to scrap the whole thing. Because unfortunately, Lyric Glass tested positive for COVID. In our best interest to head home right now. And we're going to be doing so by crossing the United States from where we are in Washington to Port Huron, Michigan. And the camera's over right, I think I see it right there. And we're just going to take our picture here. Not only did I find a geocache, I found a tumbleweed. That's right, a tumbleweed. Pretty cool. Whee! Stopping for a charge in Spokane, which I learned how to say. It's not Spokane, it's Spokane. And uh, there are three caches that I think uh, we're going to go for while we're here. Uh, and one is a puzzle, which I sat in uh, the Tesla and figured out. I have one like this myself, so uh, I, I was, wasn't sure if I got it, but there's a checker. And boom, I had success. I got a green light, so I want to go see if it's there. The last uh, log was a DNF, so hoping that the geocache is there so we can get three quick ones. Okay, this place is closed, but the geocache is open. I found uh, two out of three. The one was, eh, I don't know what it was. But anyway, this one is completely awesome. Check this out. Uh, your normal, uh, everyday old uh, newspaper box, but it's kind of empty. So uh, I checked inside, and it's kind of, it's nothing there. There's empty. There's a hole, I can't see, it's really dark, but there's a hole in the bottom, and there's nothing there. And then I reached up at top, and I felt something, and then it sounded like, an ammo can uh, handle, and guess what? Watch this. Just like that. It's an ammo can with awesome, massive magnets on it, holding it to the little newspaper box. Now that is cool. And the puzzle was this. I'll put this up right here on the right. And then I solved that sitting in the Tesla while I was charging. I came and uh, found this, got a green light, and there it is. Ammo can in a newspaper box. That is cool. Sing. Oh, I just want you to stay. All I think I found it. A rock in the middle of the grass. Check this out. I think this is it. Uh -huh. There you go. An official geocache. That's pretty cool. Well, that's pretty cool. So, to add insult to injury to our whole COVID uh, debacle from missing the Seattle event and all those festivities, that wasn't the first geocache in Idaho that we just found. It was the first geocache in Montana. Apparently, we sailed right through it and slept at the night in Montana. Ay, ay, ay. 
It was too far back to turn around and get it, so we just headed on east. Stopping for a charge and a little update. There's a 5-2 geocache nearby, but so many DNFs. And our main goal, really, is to get home. So we want to spend as little time as possible looking for geocaches. Our focus down the road will be on the webcams along the way, and maybe the odd geocache here and there. So uh, enjoy the ride, come along with us, as we try to get home and recover from this stupid COVID virus. Charging is complete, and there's a virtual nearby with almost 200 favor points, and it's from 2002. Looks cool, it's nearby, let's go. Take the next left, then your destination will be on the left. Found it, it's the grave to Kirby Grant. Do you know who Kirby Grant is? I didn't, and according to the virtual description, this is about Kirby Grant. Out of the clear blue of the western sky comes Sky King! This virtual cache is dedicated to Kirby Grant, Hoon Jr., television and movie star, who was best known for his role as Sky King, a 50s and 60s television western hero. He died in a car accident in 1985 in Florida on his way to watch a shuttle launch and to be recognized for his role in encouraging aviation. In order to log this virtual, you need to identify to the cache owner the name of the person who is buried to the right of Mr. Grant. After logging the virtual, this caught my eye. There's a little plaque talking about a Victorian memorial and what all the symbols on that memorial mean. Let's take a look. The tree trunk, renewal, rebirth. The dove, peace and love. The rope, a ladder to heaven and anchor, another symbol of the crown. The fern, renewal. The scroll, a petition to God to accept the soul. Ivy, eternal memory. I found that quite interesting. I hope you did too. Dreams of green and filled with bliss. Life is so much more than this. So where do you go when nothing's like home? What the heck is the Anaconda National Historic Monument? There you see it off in the distance. It's a large smokestack. <laughs> 